Daily Devotionals Read, Ecclesiastes 1, 12-18 The Constant One By Stephanie Grace Rello Nothing is certain. The famous jobs before that guaranteed a brighter future are now surpassed by those newly discovered careers. The smart things to do before is now the opposite. Like the idea that greed is good during the 80s, follow your passion during the mid-90s, at the same time, either follow in your parents' footsteps or pursue further studies. People nowadays may still have one or more of these beliefs. However, in the 21st century, more and more studies show how critical thinking, flexible skills, and even philosophical stance that could help the community are more important than greed or mastering one craft alone. Our passage today in Ecclesiastes claims that even the pursuit of wisdom is meaningless while supporting it with quotes from the book of Proverbs, vv. 15 and 18. We know how Proverbs loves to encourage us to pursue the path of wisdom because it leads to a better life. However, the Koheleth, teacher, explained how this endeavor is like chasing after the wind, vv. 14 and 17, while we are still on earth. When the wind blows, we can feel it coming, perhaps, hear the leaves rustle because of it, or see how it creates big waves, but we can never grasp it. Then, after enjoying a few moments of cool air, it suddenly vanishes sometimes without a trace. This reminds me of numerous people sharing their experiences. For example, they tried their best to study for an exam and not cheat, they strive to build integrity for their business and not give a mediocre service to their customers, or they attempted to be as pleasant as possible so people won't judge them, but then again, their goals still failed. There were points when they doubted God or asked the reason why He let these things happen. It is sad yet understandable since all their efforts to follow wisdom and be as righteous as possible failed to give joy or protect them, read Proverbs 3 13-18, 4-5-7. The Koheleth explained these circumstances well. Everything under the sun, all activities on earth, are meaningless because of our finite understanding. People change, times progress, beliefs develop, and practices advance, only God stays the same forever, Hebrews 13 8. Without His sovereignty and universal truth revealed to us, even wisdom won't work. Maybe this is why the Koheleth remarked how heavy this burden is for us humans, v. 13. We are tasked to live this life despite the uncertainties. We can be very wise or righteous, but most of the time, all that we can do is surrender, lift our burdens to our Heavenly Father and trust His will. Living in a community with normative traditions, it is sometimes disappointing and faith-shaking to experience things that do not align with our beliefs, our realities crash, and disconnect happens. There will be things that only God can reveal to us, and there will be times that we will not fully understand. Even though we might not know what will happen in the future, it is comforting that we have a big God who loves us so much that He gave His only begotten Son to save us from our sins, John 3:16. have our life and live it to the full, John 10:10. Reflection The past few months may be challenging. Plans were interrupted, a lot may have changed. However, we can trust that God is working in the background. The fact that He even allows and blesses us with temporal pleasures that lighten our burden, ECC. 518-19, shows how He hears and He is in control. Remember that our Christian journey is not about how good or excellent we are in this life, but how we cling on and abide in Jesus, and that is only possible by God's grace. Prayer Lord, I am weak and finite. Only by your grace am I standing and continuing. Thank you for always being the constant one. Please give me the courage and understanding needed to uncover the box that I put you in. You are bigger and more powerful than I can imagine. You hold my life into your palms, and in that, I find comfort despite the uncertainties. In Jesus' name. Amen.